friends welcome back to another video in this video we will protect our synchronous machine for over voltage or you can also design this system for the under voltage as well so let's get started i will also put an, a link in the description that will show you how you will uh, pick each component step by step so uh, anyways you can find all these components by just typing these names in the library browsers so let's get started this is the synchronous machine and i am giving two inputs one is pm that is mechanical power and the one is constant that is v if that is called the excitation voltage and its value is 0.452 you can change it according to your requirements and this is my excitation voltage so now double click on the synchronous machine the parameter at this configuration is left by default and i just change some parameters in this portion so in this portion i just pick the va rating and that is 100 mega mva then the voltage is 11 kV, the frequency is 50 and the current that is left by default 1087 and the rest of parameters are left as by default but make sure that for load flow you just select pv click ok okay this is my circuit breaker double click on this you you need to put this initial state closed and just click on the external fault and just click ok okay this is my the bus creator that will create my uh, you know the parameters that i will i want to study like the you can study the uh, output power you can study the output electro power you can study the speed etc so for this double click on this and just select any one any anything you can want just click on this and select it will just, uh, come here if you want to read from this just read it. and you can put any one you can but it is not our concern in this video we have already made another video that shows the speed and the reactive and power character of a synchronous machine you can also check it out in this video we will just protect our uh, system for under over voltage so this is my circuit breaker three phase circuit breaker and this is my vi measurement block that will just measure the voltage and current in a three phase and this is my rc load double click on this the voltage is 11 kV and the frequency is 50 the active power is uh, 40 mega watt and the reactive power is 15 mega watt click ok and also one thing the load flow should be constant z ok this is my scope that will show that will give me the uh, uh, three phase voltage and three phase current this is the uh, relay logic that will work for the uh, over voltage so double click on this here it is as it can be seen this is my input number one this is the current that is flowing in my circuit or you can say the voltage that is flowing in my uh, across my uh, you know wires are uh, generated by the synchronous generator this is that is dmux and these are the uh, discrete rms blocks okay this is the relational operator that will compare with this pickup period that value is 11 kV if the value is above 11 kV it will uh, uh, trip or it will generate a output signal and after that I am using SR flip flop S is connected with this the output of relational operator and R is given a value of 0 and I am also using a terminator because I do not want to need any key bar right it is not our concern we just want to use this Q and I just end this right and if all these uh, Q are high it will generate a signal of 1 and this is my conversion data conversion type because the output of N is in boolean and in order to convert to a integer or double you need to place a data conversion type and double click on this and you will see that this is a boolean right S similarly this should be boolean go to tributes and make it a boolean right and this is my the output that is output that is going to connect to this circuit breaker and this is a three phase fault it will use to generate the three phase fault and for that just click on the external and click ok and the fault is connected using this tail generator so this is my system before generating any fault let's just run this and see the results so just click on this this is what this is my three phase voltage and this is my three phase current so if i zoom it a little bit it will look like this so each is the same magnitude with a, a phase difference of 120 degree now for example i want to generate a, a fault at an instant of 0.19 just look 
the amplitude of force that is one and it is generated at a time of 0.19 and it will move uh, go through 0.3 seconds right just now click on this simulate it is done now double click on again the scope as it can be seen that when the time is 0.19 it's generator fault and it is detected by my over current relay a generated a signal is generated and that is sent to the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker operates correspondingly that is seen over here when the voltage is uh, above that level that's detected by the logic and send it to the circuit breaker and it can see that the fault generated from the time of 0.19 to the time of 0.3 right then after that your circuit is again become you know uh, equal right okay so this was a simple tutorial how you will under or prote protect your system from or voltage if you want to keep this for under just keep just change this relation operator to small then right and the rest parameter will be as it is so thank you so much for tuning to my youtube channel if i am requesting you find it to subscribe and